special memory that I would like to share that has impacted my life occurred in my final year as a camper. It was the RAC Olympics and I believe I was on Team, team USA that year. The first competition of the Olympics is always the marathon, but not quite a marathon. I think it's a mile or two mile run, which every camper, uh, every camper must compete in. For the senior campers, a run is a big deal. Everyone wants to prove they are the fastest and the most athletic. The race begins on the northwest corner of the soccer field and is staggered beginning with the youngest campers, the Cubs, then the midgets, and finally the seniors. The seniors bolt up to the front of the pack because the course gets narrow quickly. And you, can, and you don't want to be too far behind the pack when that happens. In 200 yards, you are on top of the first two groups that started before you. To make my way around the pack, I darted between a small opening between the large group and the polo, the pine branches, or the course narrow, narrow briefly next to the chateau cabin before going down a hill and then the lakefront. As I darted through the opening, I brushed up against the pine branches, which swung back, knocking over a younger camper. That younger camper was Jose Carlos Giardi, a cabin C camper and younger brother to Martin Giardi, who was in the chalet that summer. I saw Jose take a nasty fall out of the corner of my eye and without hesitation immediately stopped and ran back to check on Jose. I knelt down, brushed him off, and ran next to him to make sure he wasn't injured and could continue on. When he gave me the nod that he was okay, I took off and began making my way to the head of the pack knowing that I was now far behind the lead. The leaders of the race, Jonathan Ray and Martin Guerti, appeared after rounding the high jump pad for the last 200 meters of the race. But it was too late by that point, and I ended up taking a distant third place. Surprised by my defeat, many of the counselors wanted to know if something had occurred during the race for me to fall so far behind. I was honest, and I said I turned back to help a fellow camper who had fallen because of me to make sure he was okay before moving on. This would cost me the race. During the trophy ceremony, they announced me, Jonathan, and Martin to take the podium to be awarded our medals for the marathon. After receiving our medals, Martin Guerti turned to me and presented me with his, his gold medal for his, my selfless act and integrity of going back to help a fellow camper. To this day, I still have that medal. It is a reflection of the strong moral and ethical principles Red Arrow had instilled in me since my first year in 1992. My act was a responsible thing to do, and I was rewarded for that action. It is a reward far greater than ever taking first place, and that these principles don't go unnoticed. To this day, I have lived by those principles in both my personal and professional life, and it continues to reward me to this day. It has allowed me to create long-lasting relationships, climb the corporate ladder, build the confidence to start my own business, and become a loving and dependable father. Integrity is one of the four key virtues that define sportsmanship alongside fairness, responsibility, and respect. There is no better way to learn these virtues than in sport, as they will guide you both on and off the field in sport and in life.